Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano and I'm getting ready to go back to Disneyland. They're about to kick off their 60th anniversary diamond celebration. And they're doing a whole 24 hour day that I have to be a part of. So I figured what better time to show you guys exactly what I pack when I head out to the Disney parks. Now, first things first, you gotta have comfy shoes, shameless plug. Huh? <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, what else we got in here? Now, shoes gotta be comfortable. You gotta look cool. You gotta be styling. See, I already got some Disney stuff on. I got my old school Mickey Mouse Club jacket, cool little Disney side maker all-star t-shirt. But I like to collect Disney shirts. I got a lot of cool Disney parody shirts, so I got some of them that are in here. Look at that little Star Wars Disney parody. We got a little Game of Thrones Disney parody. A little Toy Story crossover right there. We got another little, looks like the old school Disneyland entrance. And we got, that's for a different vacation. Sorry about that. Next month, next month. Uh, let's see here. Other than your top looking cool, you gotta make sure your bottom looks cool and comfortable. So you gotta have comfy undergarments. Oh. Hmm. Let's see here. Make sure your hands are protected. Gotta bring your Disney gloves. Oh, of course. Now, I like to wear hats a lot, so I like to bring a lot of hats with me. So I got a cool, couple cool ones. We got a little who's it's and what's it's mad hatter business going on there. That's pretty cool. I like Star Wars, so a little beep boop beep right there. Ah, brains. There's a classic old school Mickey Mouse Club hat with my name on the back, because, you know, it's, it's me. It, it should say Dano Channel. Maybe I'll do that this time around. We'll see. Oh. Can't go wrong with these puppies. All right, what else should we bring here? Oh, gotta make sure you bring extra batteries and cables for your electronics. Speaking of electronics, I always bring a camera. I got my GoPro, got an old school Polaroid. Gotta make sure you save all those memories. Autograph book. Every time I meet a character, I gotta have them sign my autograph book. So just tradition. Uh, pins, oh, pins, all day pins. Now, I like to separate mine between the ones that are tradable and the ones that are not tradable. It looks like these, not tradable, not tradable. Yeah, you know, I'll just probably end up buying a whole bunch of new ones when I'm out there anyway. All good. Pennies! Someone's gonna have to clean that up. I always bring pennies, because you get to smush them. You put them in a little thing and it smushes them. Now, you don't put them on the train tracks. That ain't cool. What you do though is you bring two quarters, one penny, in the machine, it's smushed, and last, the most important part, my park pass. I'm not getting in without this thing. Gotta have it. Well guys, that's gonna wrap it up. I hope you like seeing all of my essentials that I bring to a Disney park. Let me know in the comments down below what you bring every time you go to a Disney park. Be sure to give this video a big ol' thumbs up. If you're new around here, hit the big red subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. For me, without first consulting my mom. That's a very, very good point. What do you have in your hand right now? Some ghost cards. You know, it's very interesting. You have postcards. I don't have as many as you do, but I happen to have a postcard.